so why are you dragging me in here? This is Caswell Hall. We store all our junk here. You think Plato's lost dialogue is junk? I believe it's as real as Atlantis. All right, Mr. Cynic, start searching. I'll meet you in your office. It says, where have you gone, Joe DiMaggio? It says, for sale, Woodstock typewriter with floating carriage, 50 bucks. It says, movie tonight, the 39 steps. It says, Edward Teller, phone home. It says, wanted, Rideshare to World's Fair. It says, We'll trade K and E slide rule for FADA radio. It says, For sale, 1937 Ford Coupe, like new, 300 bucks. I believe it's part of the old Sprague collection. I can't pick that up. It's a screw. Early 20th century, I believe. It's screwed in too tight. It's an old lecture hall desk, complete with a wad of gum, I'll bet. There is a sticky wad of gum under here. It sure is gooey. It's from the Shamit collection. Very sharp. I believe it's part of the old Dunlop collection. It's locked. It's a hole leading to the attic. The floor isn't slippery enough. It won't move. Marcus thought Potlatch Indians carved this. Looks like a movie prop to me. Marcus still thinks this chest belonged to Columbus. I can't lift the lid. Must be made out of lead. There. I think it's fine right where it is. It's full of air. It's some kind of funeral urn. I believe it's part of the old Dunlop collection. Looks like someone's ashes in here. Feels like there's something loose in here. A key? It's dusty. The chest is empty.
It's a greasy old towel. A fine sample of bitumen. It's too slippery to walk up. I think I'll stick this on my shoes for traction. What do you know? The gum works! Miscellaneous antique vases. I believe it's part of the old Sprague collection. These aren't the books I'm looking for. Another cat idol. It looks odd. I believe it's part of the old Pierce collection. It's made out of wax. It's very hot. Well, it melted. unless I find a way to protect my hands. It's an arrowhead with a soiled rag wrapped around it. It's unscrewed. It's unscrewed. It's unscrewed. It's unscrewed. Here it is, the lost dialogue of Plato. I got it! I found Plato's lost dialogue! Really? Our jungle friend Sternhardt is quite the scholar. Let me see! See how this will help us find Atlantis. Sternhardt probably could have told us a lot. Sternhardt's long gone. I'd sooner trust my spirit guide. You mean your old pal, Nurab Sal? If I can make contact, yes. Plato mentions colonies and outposts. We'll find them. But he doesn't name them. Other sources may identify them for us. I wonder... Where's my spirit guide when I need him? Come on, Sophia. The answer's in the book, not outer space. So he got his dates mixed up. Why is that so important? Plato's error means distances could also be wrong. So what if they are? Maybe the colony names will turn up. They better. I doubt Nurab Sal will recognize our modern names. Forget about the colony names for now. Okay. If Plato is right, Atlantis is in the Mediterranean. You mean 300 miles from Greece instead of 3,000? 
Yes, the cradle of civilization. You could be right. You once told me he came from the middle of the world. That's what Mediterranean means. Good old Nurab Sal. I'm starting to like him. Wait, quiet. I think I'm getting something. So, Mr. Sal, what's the secret? Be patient, he's lost. But I think I know how to guide him home. Among the artifacts that Kerner stole was a small stone disc with a hole in it. I'm sure it was one of the three stones mentioned in Plato's book. And I didn't find it. I bought it from Alain Trottier in Monte Carlo. Haven't we talked to enough of these nutcases? Or was it Omar Al-Jabbar in Algiers? Either way, Algiers or Monte Carlo. This much I do know. We need all three stones if we want to find Atlantis. How will I find Trottier and Al-Jabbar? Not so fast. First, I'm going to tell you a fortune. Look into my eyes. Deep into my eyes. For Pete's sake, I'm not going to hurt you. Now hold still. You are a remarkable man, Dr. Jones. You possess great strength of character. You are resourceful. You trust others and want them to trust you. The most promising path to Atlantis, therefore, is the one we both must take together as a team. Convince. You can come along. Then let's go, partner. Don't get any funny ideas. I'll be running the show. You make it sound so romantic. Excuse me. What? Ah, Algeria. Hmm. What do we do now? Let's find Omar Al Jabbar. He looks pretty well fed for a beggar. Hello there. Ah, a prosperous America. What are you doing here on the streets? I'm a beggar, Effendi. It is my job to be here. Today I'm offering a discount. Give me food and I'll give you a free gift. How's business? I've seen worse. Today I'm offering a discount. Give me food and I'll give you a free gift. You ever hear of Atlantis, old man? Atlantis. Hmm, Atlantis. No. Do you know where to find Omar Al-Jabbar? Omar is one of my best customers. His shop is on the other side of the marketplace. Now, let me get back to work, please. They look busy. I don't want to disturb them. They look kind of busy. Bunch. He's an artist with those knives. Excuse me. Yes? You ever hear of Atlantis? I only know about knives and how to throw them. And a little first aid. Nice knives. Yes. They were a gift from my father, the greatest knife thrower in North Africa. I'm trying to follow his example. But alas, no one will volunteer to be my assistant since the accident. Do you know where to find Omar Al-Jabbar? 
He had a shop nearby behind the marketplace. Sorry to bother you. No bother. I just wish a volunteer would step forward to assist me. He's a grocer. Excuse me. Yes? You ever hear of Atlantis? Atlantis is a meat defending by Camelot or Aladdin's lamp. Do you know where to find Omar al-Jabbar? Omar, his pitiful excuse for a shop is down the alley here. What looks good today? Today we have a special, squab on a stick, only 20 dinars. Do you accept U.S. currency? Sorry, no. Oh, a squab would sure hit the spot. 20 dinars, if any. Are you sure you won't take U.S. currency? I absolutely will not accept filthy American dollars. Pots. I don't need them, they're just pots. Little pots. I don't need them, they're just small pots. Pots. I don't need them. They're just big pots. It says drink Elliot's rose water in Arabic. Funny. Looks like that ghost we saw in your study. That ghost was Nurab Thal. This thing is spooky. Pretty worthless. I don't need any more worthless junk. There's nothing to look at. Excuse me. What can I do for you, Bendy? Are you Mr. Omar Al Jabbar? I am but a humble shopkeeper. My name is unimportant. How much for the mask? You can take the worthless thing. It's getting away my best customers. Excuse me again. Yes? Do you ever deal in antiquities from Atlantis? Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Many a fool dreams of the lost kingdom. How may I know your intentions are serious? I've got a PhD, will that do? <laughs> you have quite a sense of humor, I see. Excuse me again. Yes? I'm really interested in Atlantis. And I really need some reason to take you seriously. I'm not sure I know what you mean. For example, it is said that three stone discs were needed to open the gates of Atlantis. Show me one of those if you can. I saw a stone disc once, but someone stole it. That's too bad. I don't discuss the Lost Kingdom with amateurs. Sophia. What is it? Of all the shops in Algeria, we had to walk into this one. We'll always have Iceland, Indy. You think this guy is Al Jabbar? There's only one way to find out. He wants to see a stone disc. Maybe we better get one and show it to him. Hot enough for you? It'll get a lot hotter if the Nazis beat us to Atlantis. Let me think. Okay. Excuse me. Yes? I'd make a wonderful assistant. It's refreshing to see such spirit. But my assistant must be a woman. Show business, you know. 
Sophia. What? Do you have any dinars? No. I think you should volunteer to help the knife thrower. No, you don't, Jones. Think about the effect on international relations. I'm thinking about the effect on my health. Come on, assist the guy, will you? Nope, nope, nope. Do it, and I'll let you wear my hat. I'll let you wear my fist if you keep this up. The man's desperate. He needs your help. Is this your idea of a friendly nudge? Please, it's perfectly safe. You never give up, do you? I just think you should learn something about the local culture, up close. You call this cultural? I better not get too close. Excuse me. Yes? Are you absolutely sure I can't help you? Absolutely sure, Ben. Sophia. What? We won't get anywhere until you volunteer. Stop trying to push me into this. Please, it's perfectly safe. What's with you anyway? You gotta see this genius in action. Really? Gee, knives make me nervous. Oof. Look here, ladies and gentlemen. A volunteer. But... Now, now, my dear, there's nothing to be afraid of. But... Just walk over to the board now. Mm. Ta-da! Thank you for your brave assistance, my dear. Allow me to express my gratitude by giving you this souvenir knife. Here, take this knife before I use it on you. It's a sharp bloodstained knife. Excuse me. Sorry, Effendi. One act a day is all my nerves can take. Excuse me. Yes? I could really use some squab. 20 dinars, Effendi. Maybe we can make a deal. What kind of deal? I'll trade this beautiful knife for a squab. I already have several of those knives. The knife thrower has notoriously bad aim. I've got another offer. Make it. I'll give you this scary mask for a squab. No thanks, it would scare away my best customers. I've got another offer. Make it. I'll give you my fine leather jacket for a squab. In this heat, don't be absurd. Don't go away, I'll get back to you. Excuse me. What? I think you should assist the knife thrower again. Never ever again, Jones. What do we do now? We need an Atlantean stone disc to show Omar. There's a collector in Monte Carlo who might have one, a lab cotier. Here we are. I had no idea Monte Carlo was the lost city. Don't start with me, Indy. It's Tartier we're after. What makes you think we'll find Tartier here? All his letters mention how much he likes strolling under the bright lights. 
But what does Trottier look like? How should I know? I've never actually met him. We did all our business by mail. Suppose Trottier shows up. What then? Bring him up to my room. This plan sounds kind of harebrained to me. Don't worry, it'll work. He used to have one of the three stones. If we can coax him into a seance, he might let us have it. If Mr. Sal helps out, of course. I'll go get ready. It's a taxi. I'm not leaving without Sophia. Nothing interesting over here. Hey there. Can you tell me what Monsieur Trottier looks like? Sorry, I don't know him. Hey there. Are you Alan Trottier? No, I'm not. Hey there. Can you tell me where to find Monsieur Trottier? Sorry, no. But I know he has an Achille nose. Excuse me. Can you tell me what Monsieur Trottier looks like? Oh? Excuse me. Can you tell me where to find Monsieur Trottier? No, désolé. But I know he has an Achille nose. Just a moment, please. Can you tell me where to find Monsieur Trottier? Sorry, no. But he always wear a flower in his lapel. Any luck, Indiana? Where's Trottier? I'm tired of looking for Trottier. You can't stop now. We can't let the Nazis beat us to Atlantis. Excuse me. Can you tell me where to find Monsieur Trottier? Sorry, no. Look for a man in a brown suit. Hey there. Can you tell me what Monsieur Trottier looks like? Not really. But he always wears a flower in his lapel. Just a moment, please. Can you tell me where to find Monsieur Trottier? Uh, possibly. Who wants to know? I'm Dr. Indiana Jones of Barnett College. Jones, Jones, Jones. I believe I've heard of you. Yes, of course, the famous archaeologist. Actually, I'm just a simple professor. Oh, leave the modesty to me, sir, Alain Trottier. Amateur scholar, part-time poet, professional dreamer. Adding up today's date and my birthday for all extraordinary events on the boulevard tonight. And here I bump into you. Ah, what good fortune. What can you tell me about Atlantis? Oh, that depends. I fear that German agents are on my trail. To prove you are not one of them, answer me this. What was a Plato's great error? An error of size. Oh, no, 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 you're just guessing. Oh, bonsoir, monsieur.
open. Did you find our man, Indy? Where's Trottier? I have no idea where he is. Well then, get back out there. Monsieur Trottier? Back again, Dr. Jones. What now? I've heard you deal in Atlantean artifacts. Aha! My reputation precedes me. I hear that German agents are on my trail. To prove you are not one of them, answer me this. When were the many freaks of nature created? In the last days of Atlantis. Oh no no no, you're just guessing. Oh, bonsoir, monsieur. Just a moment, monsieur. Back again, Dr. Jones. What now? Madame Sophia's in town and wants to meet you. Really? The great psychic? Oh, no wonder I felt restless tonight. Still, one must be cautious. I fear that German agents are on my trail. To prove you are not one of them, answer me this. What was Plato's great error? An error of translation. Yes, excellent. Obviously, you know Plato's lost dialogue well. How can I help you? Madame Sophia would like to trade her wisdom for yours. I'm sure she would. And steal my secrets. What kind of idiot you take me for? Just a moment, monsieur. Yes? Hey, why don't you stop being such a jerk? Well. Did you find our man, Indy? Where's Trottier? I've tried and that fool won't come up here. Hmm, I hadn't thought about that possibility. Just drop Nirab Sal's name. Monsieur Trottier? Yes? I just want you to know I work for Nurav Sal. Did you say Nurav Sal? Well, perhaps you're not the buffoon I took you for. Now, excuse me while I consider this. Over here, Monsieur Trottier. Well, hello again, Dr. Jones. How can I help you? Follow me and Madame Sophia will read your fortune. Oh, this is a big step. I'm not sure. You need help, pal. She's better than any psychiatrist. Are you implying that I might be mentally unstable? I'm insulted. Monsieur Trottier? Yes? Nurab Sal sent me, remember? Nurab Sal? Oh, eh bien. Allow me some time to cool my anger. Monsieur Trottier? Well, hello again, Dr. Jones. How can I help you? It would please Madame Sophia if you joined her seance. Well, I do need to know the truth. Is Atlantis real or a mere myth? So I'll do it. Please lead the way. Have a seat, Monsieur Trottier. Is he here? Are you sure this is going to work? 
Just you watch. Oh, Monsieur Trottier, I am so pleased to meet such an expert antiquarian at long last. Madame flatters me. It is I who am pleased to meet you. Now then. Nurab Plow demands proof of your sincere belief. Well, I have this stone key from the lost city. It should prove my worth to Monsieur Sal. Very good, very good indeed. Now let's begin our communion with that great spirit. Uh, one moment, madame. We've never met before. You could be an imposter. If you really have psychic powers, tell me. Why was I taking a stroll when I first met Dr. Jones? How should I know? Read my mind, or read Dr. Jones' mind, if you prefer. I told him everything. Hmm, let me think. Your horoscope told you to. Aha, that is intriguing. What is my greatest fear? You fear Nazi agents. Well, well, well. Fascinating. What is my greatest need? You need a new spiritual advisor. Ah, most interesting. Now then, how many fingers am I holding up behind my back? What kind of stupid question is that? The answer depends on pure chance. Not if you're truly psychic. Don't worry, I won't cheat. How many fingers? Well, all I can do is try a wild guess. Five. I am very disappointed, madame. You have failed my little test. Ooh, I just can't concentrate. Uh, too bad. Another time, perhaps. Au revoir. Guess I didn't pass the test. I'll say, I'm taking control of this team. I'm sorry, Indy. Nice going, Madam Psychic. Okay, next time you try it. Sophia. What more can I say? Gee, it's tough to make a living as a psychic. I can't help it. Sometimes my spirit guide just doesn't show up. Listen. What do we do now? Let's try again. There must be a sheet under here. It's a bed sheet. There's a flashlight in here. It's a flashlight. It's a fuse box. Monsieur Trottier? Well, hello again, Dr. Jones. How can I help you? Madame Sophia wants another seance. Well, <laughs> she's a charming woman. <laughs> so, I'll do it. Please, lead the way. Have a seat, Monsieur Trottier. Is he here? Keep him busy. I'm going to try something. All right then. Give me a minute while I set him up. Thank you for giving me another opportunity, monsieur. Do you still have the key? Yes, here it is. I think I'm getting something. Let a smile be your umbrella. Look into my eyes. 
Must he be wandering around? It makes me nervous. Dr. Jones, if you please. Blah, 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 blah. Does he have to prowl so much? Really, Dr. Jones? Look into my eyes. The lights? What happened to the lights? Uh, I think Narab Sal is trying to signal us. Here he is again. Jones! Hmm, is he trying to scare me by wearing that sheet on his head? Jones! Well, madame, I've seen enough. It was entertaining, despite the interruptions. Au revoir. Turn the light on, will you please? <sighs> you lost him again, Indy! Great move, Jones. It seemed like a good idea at the time. Stop acting like it's Halloween. On second thought, Maybe you should find a way to spruce up that costume. Your ghost act almost worked. Monsieur Trottier? Well, hello again, Dr. Jones. How can I help you? Madame Sophia wants another seance. Well, oh, she is a charming woman. <laughs> so I'll do it. Please leave the way. Have a seat, Monsieur Trottier. Is he here? Okay, Trottier's all yours. Let's begin again, shall we? But first, excuse me for a moment. Of course, madam. Uh, can I talk to you, Dr. Jones? Do you know the answers to his ridiculous test? Sorry, I can't remember a thing. Want me to take over? Okay. Go on back to the seance and I'll think of something. All right. Give me a minute while I set him up. Thank you for giving me another opportunity, monsieur. Do you still have the key? Yes, here it is. I sense the presence of Nurab Sal nearby. Blah, 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 blah. The lights, what happened to the lights? Uh, I think Nurab Sal is trying to signal us. Oh, I feel the presence of Nurab Sal approaching us. Well done, Indy. Looks like we have one of the three stones. Let's hope we can find a way to use it. I'll bet Trottier got it from Al Jabbar. Those two do a lot of business together. Let's head for North Africa and find out if I'm right. Fine. I'll hail a cab while you get changed. It's a stone disc with solar images carved into it. Sophia. I still think you should have let me divine his secret. Let's head for North Africa. Fine. I'll hail a cab while you get changed. I better put the flashlight back. I better put the sheet back. Just a moment, please. Do you think we're getting enough rain? Not nearly enough.
Just a moment, please. Do you think we're getting enough rain? More than enough. Wait for me! Listen. What? What do we do now? Let's show Omar that stone disc we got from Cartier. Never mind. Okay. Excuse me. You bring food? Here. I may be a beggar, but I'm not that desperate. Excuse me. You bring food? Here. No thanks, I can't very well eat that. Excuse me again. Yes? I'm really interested in Atlantis. And I really need some reason to take you seriously. I've got this stone. Stone, you say? Let's see. Here it is. Take a look. Ah, a sunstone, if I'm not mistaken. And the most stupendous find. Dr. Jones. How do you know who I am? Yeah, how? My dear Miss Hapgood, when you're Omar Al-Jabbar, you know these things. Then you are Al-Jabbar. Yes, a lowly dealer in oddities and trinkets at your service. Let's get down to business, shall we? What do you know about Atlantis? Yes, tell us. Well, somewhere deep in the Atlas Mountains, there's an archaeological dig site. I'm convinced it contains the remains of an Atlantean outpost. Whose dig is it? Europeans. Germans, I believe. What makes you so sure it's Atlantean? From time to time, scoundrels appear in my shop to trade pieces they stole there. The designs are unmistakable. Where is it exactly? I'm not exactly sure. I've learned enough to make a rough map, but it's very rough. The problem is, the desert is no place for a civilized man like myself. We'll go. We will? I admire your courage, but you'll never survive the desert. Give up while you still have your lives ahead of you. Okay, we give up. A very sensible decision, Dr. Jones. Let Atlantis lie undisturbed, wherever it may be. Listen. Give up? I don't want to talk about it, Jones. Excuse me again. Change your mind? Yes, we're not giving up after all. It's your funeral, Effendi. Come, I'll lend you my map. And a couple of sturdy camels. Returned alive. Tell me, how was your trip?
Okay, except our camels died a mile out of town. A terrible shame. Those were my last two camels. Perhaps I can make amends in some small way. Do you still have that mask I gave you? Uh, nope. I lost it in the desert. That's too bad. I'd have traded handsomely to get it back. Listen. We can talk later. Let's do something. Hmm, the only mark on this map is one big X. Excuse me again. Yes? I'd like to trade my mask for something else. I thought you lost it. It turned up in my other pants. How lucky for both of us. Now, about that trade. Do you have anything in mind? Make an offer. Well, how about... This baseball? It's been autographed by your country's Lou Gehrig. I'll take it. You've made a good exchange, Effendi. Hey, this hasn't been signed by Lou Gehrig. It's some guy named Ron Gilbert. Excuse me. Yes? I'd like to make another squab offer. I'm listening. I'll give you my Atlantean sunstone for a squab. What do you take me for offering me some worthless hunk of rock? I've got another offer. Make it. I'll trade you this autographed baseball for a squab. Hmm. Hmm. I'm afraid I cannot make that trade, Effendi. But it does remind me to get my son a birthday present. Pull the squad. I'll be back later. Excuse me again. Yes? Can I trade my baseball for something else? Do you have anything in mind? Make an offer. Well, how about... This voodoo doll? It was cut from trees in the Black Forest. I'll take it. You've made a good exchange, Effendi. It's got spit all over it. Excuse me. Yes? I'd like to make another squab offer. I'm listening. I'll give you this cute voodoo doll for a squab. Hmm. Hmm. I'm afraid I cannot make that trade, Effendi. It just doesn't work with the colors of my house. Pull the squab. I'll be back later. Excuse me again. Yes? Can I trade my voodoo doll for something else? Do you have anything in mind? Something for a young boy, perhaps. Anything else? Make an offer. Well, how about... This little red wagon? It once belonged to Rudyard Kipling. I'll take it. You've made a good exchange, Effendi. Gee, it's only got three wheels. Excuse me. Yes? I'd like to make another squab offer. I'm listening. I'll give you this little red wagon for a squab. Mm hmm. This will make perfect gift for birthday of my son. And it's so color coordinated. Here, have a squab. Thank you. Squab, huh? <laughs> Looks like a barbecued pigeon.
Excuse me. You bring food? Here. Thank you, Appendi. Here's your free gift. It says one day pass Kareem sightseeing tours. example of Algerian know-how. He's a scruffy merchant. Hello there. If you have ticket, you see signs. If not, you don't. Stop! Will this do? A valuable all-day pass. Today the skies are yours, Effendi. It keeps the balloon from drifting away. We're free! Aren't you coming? I'll stay here and watch the balloon. Listen. What? It's tough to fly a balloon. Try spiraling and counterclockwise next time. Kind of barren and lifeless out there, huh? I don't know. The rocks look like they're enjoying themselves. I die within minutes in that hellish waste. Forget it. Sophia. What? What do we do now? We could take up sand farming. I'm game if you are. <laughs> 